Hi, my name is James Flint. I'm a photographer and videographer, and I'd like to take a minute to talk to you about digital zoom versus optical zoom. Basically, optical zoom is real zoom. That is changing the focal length of your camera. Uh, as you can see here, the lens on my camera switches, but uh, has a range from 18 millimeters to 70 millimeters. And uh, you know, zooming in with this camera is a true optical zoom. Now, a less expensive, uh, lower-end, consumer-based camera, uh, you know, that can still have optical zoom, but some of them have what's called digital zoom, and this is more like a computer-generated zoom, and it's really going to take away from the quality of your images. Um, basically, the thing to take away from this conversation is you want to go with optical zoom, you want to stay away from digital zoom. Um, every camera is going to advertise it, you know, if it's a fixed lens camera where you're not removing the lens, that's where you really need to determine does this thing have a digital zoom or an optical zoom. Um, you know, this uh, consumer based uh, video camera is, has an optical zoom. It's 12 times optical zoom, so it'll allow you to zoom in and out, and it's actually changing the focal length of the built in lens. Um, you know, if your camera has a digital zoom feature, I recommend just leaving it off, don't use it. Uh, if you find that the camera you're using doesn't have enough zoom, it's not able to get closer to things you're, you're photographing or filming, you probably just want to get a camera that has some removable lenses so you can get a better lens and have the optical zoom. So um, in review, digital zoom is created by the computers. It's not really the lens doing it, whereas optical zoom is a true uh, zoom created by a lens, and that's what we recommend. Uh, stay away from digital zoom. Use optical zoom.